In the Hindu world, everything is God. Everything. Even the Gauravas. Everything in the world is a part of Krishna. Everything therefore can be loved and is capable of loving. He who has truly realized Krishna cannot hate the Gauravas. He cannot hate anyone. Krishna may punish the Gauravas for their misdeeds, but he never rejects them. His loves make room for the weakest, the cruelest, and the most imperfect. This is dharma. When we stop loving, we embrace adharma. We judge, condemn, and reject people, invalidate them in hatred. We stop being generous, like the Kauravas. We become mean-minded, pity, stingy, clingy, and possessive. Or like the Pandavas, we become clueless, confused, in search of direction and wisdom. We forget the path to Madhuvan. We entrap ourselves in Kurukshidra. The earth weeps for us because in our inability to love, in our pursuit for power, in our lack of wisdom, we lose a golden opportunity to enjoy life. Make life enjoyable for others and find joy in giving joy. That is why the Krishna Saga begins when the earth cow stands before Vishnu and begs him to save her children. God listens. The cowherd turns into the charioteer. He disciplines the unruly horse of the head with verses of the Bhagavad Gita. The verses provide a true understanding of life, an understanding that prevents false interpretation of circumstance and false expectations from the world. Thus enlightened, the heart loses its craving for power and embraces love. We participate in life, not to control it, but to appreciate it. The charioteer Krishna of the Mahabharata, Lord of Rukmini, appeals to our head and helps us in times of crisis. He transforms our world from the battlefield into a garden. He leads us out of Kurukshita and helps us return to Madhuvan.